Hey you welcome back to Acid D Punch Drunk Gaming with a little bit of wrestling for your second part of power. Well, Alba and Isla really want this new ladies tag team championship. But the unlikely team of the Mrs and Jade Cargill also want a chance to win it. We've got loads of ladies in these tag team decision, but this very unlikely team I feel might go a long way. But we'll find out shortly, so let's head on down there for this match. It's Extreme Rules. You can win by pinfall, by submission, by knockout. And if you do, they'll get eliminated. So it could end up a two-on-one match. Let's head down there and get it underway. When we see the dark duel of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, we're looking at a team who's hungry. Just expelled from the match. Arm ringer applied. Bang. So accurate. I know it may not sound extreme, but honestly, the best course of action in this match is to be cautious. Don't get into the car crash mindset just because the match allows it. Do what you have to do to succeed, but don't do something you'll regret just because it's extreme rules. Be smart. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? Compromise position here. The fight is being taken to Isla. Tough spot for Isla. Whip back into the ring. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? And it must be garbage down here because it comes the tag. You know, Fire and Dawn have already started planning their payback. They won't let this lie. I don't think they will let it lie. But for now, they're on top, and they've got all to play for. You're out, girls. If you want to attack them later, that's up to you. But you're not at the top when it comes for this new belt. So congratulations, ladies. For now, you're top of the league. The division is owned by you. May it be the belt next. Next up, Rikishi takes to the ring. I think that's all of the real bloodline we've seen turn up tonight. That's one for the books. They really want to take control of the whole show. But first, let's see him get through Kanusuke Takeshita. This is going to be an amazing match. Rikishi versus the Alpha. Let's go. Here we go with Rikishi in the ring, as agile a big man as you'll ever see, hailing from one of the most storied families in all of wrestling. Rikishi isn't a super spinny predicament, shoulders down, and kicks out before the count. Too early in the match to end it. Into the corner now, working over the midsection, attacking those ribs and organs. Just breaking down the opponent. Just punched him right in the mouth. Jarring impact. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Into the quick cover. He throws his shoulder up before two. Tried to make short work of things there. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And sidewalk slam. He's looking a little off balance. Rikishi looks for roaches going on the attack there. He goes for the cover. And fends off the pinfall. Very soon to be going for a pinfall. Shoulder tackle. Here's some free advice for Rikishi in this match. He needs to throw his weight around. The more he puts his 400 plus pounds of weight behind his attacks, the more forceful they'll become. Well, using his size to devastate an effect is one of the things Rikishi does best, so I'm sure he'll take you up on that advice, Corey. And he's able to counter. Full arm right to the 
shot. Is it enough here? Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Still no end in sight here. Close line. Bad predicament right here. Turning the throat there. Take a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Hoist it up. Since his debut in 1993, it's no wonder why Raw has been the preeminent show in sports entertainment. Monday nights were changed forever after that debut, Cole. Rich in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, what a chancery. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. And he gets set back into the ring. on this one. Pin! And they're still in this! Had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. Back and forth we go. Oh. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Oh, God, that hurt. Now Rikishi has the firm upper hand. Great stuff from Rikishi. Throwing his weight around and putting a ton of force behind his attacks. Ooh, eats a boot instead. He's managing to get some control back now. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a one in. Oh, Jimmy, knee strike. Right out. Rikishi come back from that? No, he beats the count. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Seems the bloodline 2.0 are taking control of power. Up next, two dudes that are really looking to make it in the world or heavyweight title divisions. We know so Samoa Joe has won the heavyweight championship before and everyone's looking to be that other champion. No one's managed to have both belts yet. I've had one, Shadzi's had an, another one, but we've never had both belts. Drew McIntyre, Samoa Joe, Damian Priest, Undertaker, Roman Reigns, everyone that has tried has never had both belts. There's the bell, and Kurt Angle looks poised and ready for action. When you talk about truly driven competitors inside the ring, Angle might just be one of the most driven we've ever seen. Simply put, this is what Kurt lives for, guys. Testing himself against the best talents in the world to see just who is the better man. That's how Kurt forged himself into such an exceptional in-ring competitor. It's true, Byron. A career of taking on some of the best superstars we've ever seen has made Angle tougher and better than ever. But don't overlook his opponent, a superstar who is tired of living in the shadows. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Great counter! And the knee. Big forearm. That's what they call the hot shot. Coming back 
into the ring. Back to the action. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Cover. And that was only a one. Definitely looks in a hurry to finish things. Coming back in the ring. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He heads outside. Count out's legal in this match. the suplex. Take it out with a big exploder. He's lost some of his win now. Just Kurt using his natural born talent. Press landing powerball. What goes up must come down and it sure as hell did right there. Corey, what aspects of Angle's game can give him the advantage tonight in this matchup? Kurt Angle's physical conditioning and mat game are unmatched. Kurt needs to keep this ground-based and use his speed and technique to weaken his opponent's limbs to set up for his many submission attacks. Fighting out. Hammering away with punches to the face. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. take you out for good. He eludes the contact. And what a maneuver we just saw there. And a lid just got put on Angle's intensity there. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh! With authority! Pretty much in total control this one with a big right hand, but look who's here causing a distraction. Hey, get down. That distraction could make all the difference. That's all it took. Allow themselves to be distracted from the task at hand. And it provided a valuable opportunity for their opponent to regroup. Oh, God, that hurt. Ankle lock applied. Will they tap? Are they going to tap? Is this one going to be over? After everything these two men have been through, will it end like... And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Turns around angles. Series of shots. You can just feel the momentum shift in the air. Oh, what a slam. Impactful. He can end it here. He's got it. it more. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. He's struggling a bit here. This is... Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. The Olympic gold medalist being taken to the limit here. That needs to free himself from the sleeper. He needs to break this submission. <laughs> Fighting with everything he has. This is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. He's going for it all. Take off. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Get him into the corner. Orient your opponent. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. 
feels disrespectful. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. Uh, from the top! Understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Kurt setting it up. Seems to me Shetty didn't want him being a two-time heavyweight champ. <laughs> Here is your winner, Kurt Angle. Celebrate this win. You deserve it for focusing up and keeping your eye on the ball. Props to them for not letting the distractions get to them, to tuning out the noise and getting the job done. If anything, the distraction work is the perfect motivation to get them into gear. I don't hear a thank you, though. Our final match tonight... We saw Brutus Creed do so well, he deserves a shot at a title. So let it be the Epilepsy Awareness Championship. But Jake the Snake, as you know, gets the choice. And he's chosen a Sammy's match. I'm starting to love these match. And I'm really loving Jake the Snake. You know he's my favourite Epilepsy Awareness Champion. So let's head down there and watch him get it underway. And see who can beat the shit out of the other. This right here is a championship that gained a lot of prestige in short order, guys. Yeah, I mean, once a title match is called by yours truly, you know it finally matters in our industry. Well, you're certainly not Mr. Modest today, are you, Corey? Jake the Snake, here it comes! DDT! A championship-level move! just can't get the title off of Jake Roberts. Here is your winner, and still Action Pro Global Wrestling Heritage Champion, Jake the Snake Roberts. He does it again, my new favorite champion and he's keeping all them matches every week as well he's keeping it alive as i love well that's it before you go can you please hit the like and subscribe and once you've done that just remember stay safe and you take care y'all